Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Neo. For those who don't know who Neo is, they are the leader in the premium space in the EV industry in China. As usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. This is gonna be a very short video. Neo is trading today at $10.96, it's 12 cents up. The 52-week high is $22.74, and the 52-week low is $7. Now, <laughs> the reason for this video is because a lot of people were commenting and asking me what do I think about the, the Mercedes Neo Benz deal in terms of the battery swap. Is, ne is Mercedes gonna adopt Neo's battery swap technology. If that happens, we all know that NEO will be getting revenue from this. So it will help us to achieve profitability even sooner. And this is something that will help lift up not just the stock price, but the company in the long term. So what, do, what is my take on this? Well, there are spy photos and videos of NEO, uh, William Lee and Mercedes CEO, talking together. There are videos of them, of William Lee showing um, the Mercedes managers and the CEO, the actual battery swap stations. And recently Mercedes, I think it's the CEO or something like that came out and said that basically the battery swap system is crap or whatever and he's not, he's not interested in it. William Lee and Neo also said that there's no deal going on. But, so <laughs> let me just say this, guys. I'm sure by now a lot of you all know that Neo is one of the Chinese government favorites, right? They have invested over a billion dollars into Neo. You think when Mercedes, I'm, I'm sure Mercedes know this. Do you think the Mercedes CEO will come out and bash Neo? Possibly they would come out and say, hey, we're not interested in this if they really weren't interested in it. And we looked at it, but it doesn't seem to fit our business model, right? Um, but he, I don't think they would come out and bash it. So I truly believe at this point that it's a done deal. It's going to happen. And I could be wrong, but this is my opinion. And also... If this deal doesn't happen, I, and oh, let me also say this. I don't know if you guys know this, but Mercedes batteries have been catching fire. They've been having problem with uh, their software in their cars, a lot of recalls. Do you hear a lot of this with Neo? No, you don't, right? And one of the reasons is because, remember, Neo is getting parts for their car like I was talking about the suspension system is from a company right here in Boston, Massachusetts that's better than a Rolls Royce. It's a new system that this company came out with, right? They're getting their batteries from the best. They're getting their chips from the best. So it helps eliminate um, problems of and, and having a lot of recalls. I'm not saying it don't happen. I'm not saying it can't happen but it is actually in Mercedes best interest, I would think to implement this and to start doing nice ventures like this to survive and to survive in China. However, if Mercedes doesn't do this, I can see Neo making big partnerships with Xiaopong, when it comes to battery as a service or even big, way bigger than Xiaopong, even with BYD. In fact, I think they'll probably make a deal faster with BYD than they will with Xpeng because BYD is the number one car um, a producer in the world now, right? I might be wrong on that. You guys can fact check me on that. They, de they, they delivered more cars than Toyota. Now, having said that, BYD is also starting to come out with higher end models. It would make sense for them to retrofit these high end models to the battery as a service formula, especially NEO is going to dominate the landscape. So in terms of this uh, business formula, 
I know there's a lot of negative people still don't understand how important battery as a service is. They're saying it's a waste of time. <laughs> well, you know, it's just a matter of time when even they, and probably some of them are just shorts that keep shorting Neo and, you know, putting out propaganda and hate. But eventually they will have to come around. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. If you guys found this video informational, and give you guys encouragement to understand why you need to keep holding NEO. And for those who haven't even heard about NEO and seen my video, if you've found that video informational, please guys give it a thumbs up. It'll help encourage me to keep doing these videos. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so. Let's get rich or die trying guys.